You guys ready? Team and Pookie. Uh, team, how do you sum up the, the mood in the locker room after that one? Obviously, uh, it's not the best. We uh, It's been a bad run lately, so... So, and especially today, being up and then giving up those two, I would say, stupid goals in the end to, to lose the game. So, uh, this is work to do. There's still many games to go. Everything is possible, but uh, yeah, we need to obviously be better than we've been lately. What did you feel like made them quote unquote stupid? What did you feel like was lacking on those goals? It's hard to say. Like, yeah, maybe set pieces has been our. Uh, and, Something we haven't done so well lately, and now we maybe put a bit more focus on it, and then still still concede a couple of goals from those in the end. So, so we need to obviously be much better in, in, in set pieces, and we, we know that, and, uh, and that's something obviously what we need to work on in the in the next weeks as well. How do you get the team to sort of have the desire and energy that maybe the coach was saying you guys were sort of lacking in those situations? Yeah, it's. Up to us now to to change the end of how, how how we want this season to go. So it's all about the the players and the stuff we need to turn turn around fast because there's not many games games to go and uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, there's work to do, but that's 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 part of football. So. Uh, what did you see on your goal? Obviously, Robin kind of set you up with that one. What did you what did you see in that one? Yeah, it was a good good goal. Obviously happy. Uh, it hasn't been. The best season for me uh, either. So to have these couple goals lately, it's uh, it will help me in the in the end of the season, the rest of the season. So so it was a well well played, good pass from Robin, and yeah, finally as is from him as well for me this year. So but yeah, I like like to play with him like you, Ogo. So how do you balance those good positive moments? Yeah, when a loss follows. Yeah, those are the things we need to need to take out of out of these games because they they were cute moments. Obviously, not not enough, but uh, but they were those. We need to analyze the game and then uh, then do much better better job on on Saturday again. When as a team, like you know, draws and losses start kind of stacking up, like how do you kind of shift into the mindset of like attacking the next one versus kind of looking at the past? Kind yeah, of I think the most important thing is to. Forget, of course, you need to need to analyze the game, but uh, the game is gone now, and and the good thing is the next game is in a couple of days, so so everyone just need to need to figure out how they get the best out of them on on Saturday. Tina, I know you have had been around for you know the majority of this tough stretch, but how did you feel like the game kind of got away from you guys? I wouldn't even say it got away from us. I think at the end there you. Kind of have to shut up shop and just make sure you come away with three points. And I think we get beat by one guy twice. And, you know, he was our point of emphasis before the game. So it's not something you want to see happen. But I think this is just one of those things that we have to learn from it. And, you know, I think the word desire was kind of thrown out there in our post-game conversations. And I think that's that's one thing that I feel like each person can, you know, go look in the mirror and say that we need a little bit more desire to close games out like that because we can't keep dropping points at the at the end of games. What did you see from the guys when you came back? I mean, obviously, it's been a lot of times, a lot of rebound and kind of on to the next one. How did you feel like the guys were when you came back this week? I know. I mean, I think we were ready for go to go for the game today. I think we go up 2-1 there. You can see from the moment we got the first goal, we were pushing the whole time. And, you know, if the game doesn't end the way it does, I think we, we take a big three points and we head into Saturday. But that's not how it goes. You know, we, we dropped we drop all three points at the end there. So... I think it's just a matter of, again, just t taking the lessons we can. And you know, it's a quick turnaround to Saturday, so we can't dwell on it too much. How do you put something like that behind you? I think you have to. I think especially with the, the run that we're in, we can't afford to, to dwell on, on um, results like this. I think we need to, for the next two days, look at look at what caused us to beat it to get to this point, the mistakes we made, and just make sure that moving forward, if there is a player like Benteke who we're supposed to you know, be keen in on, that we're really doing that for the full 90 minutes. I think we did a good job for 85, 87, 89, whatever it was, but you got to do it the full, the full 90, 95, whatever it is. You know, the team keeps having problems on set pieces. Is that a practice thing? What, what do you describe that to? Um, I, don't, I don't really think the thing with set pieces is just a matter of half of it is really just commitment and just making sure guys know know their spots and where they're supposed to be and, you know, going up for challenges and things like that. So, I mean, like I said, you look at the whole game, everyone was kind of locked in for 
on all our set pieces and everything that we had. And then more or less the two that we don't lock in on are the two that cost us at the end there. So, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's acceptable. I think you got to see it through the entire game, and we didn't do that today. So just got to kind of learn from it and keep pushing. What did you, you think was key in, in the build-up to your goal and in the finish you had? Um, I think we recognized, you know, before the game that there would be a lot of space in behind. Mm -hmm. And you know if we if we can win the ball high up in the field, you know playing it first time and behind would be on. And there were a lot of opportunities for that. And you know we we got it right once. So I think it's you know they they play really high line. And I think like I said, there's a couple we could have we could have done more going in behind. But yeah, I think that's about it.